Good evening, guys. A 14-year-old and a 15-year-old lost their lives on Friday while two other teenagers were injured when that gunman opened fire. As their peers try to come to terms with that loss, a debate is back on the table about how best to protect Chicago students. Benito Juarez students channeling their anger into action today with a school walkout. After a shooting outside their building on Friday left one of their classmates, 15-year-old Brandon Perez, dead, along with his friend, 14-year-old Nathan Belegas, who was a student at Chicago Bulls College Prep. I knew Brandon. Jesse Rodriguez telling our cameras he'd only just seen Brandon before those shots erupted. No, I would say hi to him in class. And actually the day of that it happened, I had the last class with them before we, we were released. And, you know, it's, uh, it's just an emotion. Like, I, I couldn't even imagine, even today to this moment, that that was going to be the last time I would see them. Two other teenagers, both 15, were also wounded in the chaos. Police are still searching for the gunman, releasing surveillance videos of this possible suspect in the hope someone can identify him. But the shooting has stirred up an old debate. Adding a Chicago, Pol Chicago Police Department to a public schools, it is not the right thing to do, it's immoral, it's wrong. That's 25th Ward Alderman Byron Sigcho Lopez speaking back in 2020 at a virtual school board meeting at a time when schools were discussing the removal of resource officers from campuses, eventually deciding to let each school council make that call. That same summer, Benito Juarez voted to oust both of its SROs, becoming only the second CPS school to do so. And since then, those decisions have continued to roll in, with 41 high schools voting this school year on safety plans. Of those, 17 have voted to keep both SROs, 23 voted to keep one of them, and one school has opted to remove both. This has to be based on research and what works. We caught up today with Alderman Sigcho Lopez again, who says he still feels the same way, and that school resources are better spent on things like mental health services. We must have a serious conversation about safety that goes beyond the rhetoric of putting more SROs. We also know that at least in three other schools where there were shootings, in Phillips High School, Kenwood, Simeon, there were shootings and there were SROs in those schools. Now, the alderman is calling for a meeting with the mayor and the governor to discuss school safety. Meanwhile, Benito Juarez Academy is offering a number of supports to students and staff this week. Those include an adjusted schedule with the school day ending early. There are also additional counsellors on site and access to telehealth for those who aren't physically in the building. Live tonight in the newsroom, Bruno Tumulty, WGN News.